Okay, can I buy your laptop? Yeah. Uh, hold on, let me just finish my... Done. Okay. Knock yourself out. You didn't tell me sophomore year was going to be so hard. Welcome to college. Why do you have so much spam email? <laughs> Just ignore it. It's fine. Oh, I forgot my other notebook in my room. I will be back. Okay. okay. Oh, graceful. person you want to see or hear from right now, but please just hear me out and watch this. I won't expect anything else after this. So, you're probably wondering why I'm sending in this video, especially so long after we broke up. I never got the chance to tell you why I did it. Serena told me not to talk to you. I've never been great with words, it's true. So, before I made this, I wrote down everything I wanted to say to you. So, here goes. After I ended it and you left, I felt like such a piece of shit for months afterward. You didn't deserve that, and I'm mad I never got to explain myself to you. Um, before I go on, I just want to make it clear that in no way am I trying to... to make excuses for what I did, or, or to make you feel sorry for me. Or anything like that. I just... I just want to make you understand why I did what I did. I told you once that I've lived my whole life trying to please others. Trying to live for them. I didn't know how else to be. My, my dad spent so much time molding me into the son that he wanted that I never really knew who I was. Or even who I wanted to be. I don't want to be that guy that says some crazy shit, like, I met you and you changed my life. Because I realize that's cliche and stupid and people can't expect others to change for them. But, Roxanne, you did make your mark on me. So much that I don't think I'll ever forget you for a long, long time. When I was with you, you made me feel like somebody. Somebody I could be proud of. You were so bright and happy and had such big dreams. You made me dream big too. I wanted to be that guy. The guy you'd always wanted to be with. The guy who was clever and charming and handsome and who always knew the right thing to say and when to say it. I wanted to be him. I wanted to be someone who actually deserved you. So, so yeah, I went along with your fantasy. Can you blame me? I've never been important to someone before. I mean, yeah, there's my dad, and I know he just wants the best life for me, but I appreciate that. But I don't know. He was never very good at all the emotional stuff, but you were. And I'm sure you still are, because... You care about people, Roxanne. You care so much. And I never want that part of you to change. It's a good quality to have in this world. You made me feel important, is what I'm trying to say. And I was so unused to that feeling that I was willing to pretend to be somebody else to hang on to that. It was stupid of me, and I know that now. And I'm sorry for it. I, I was never good at relationships. I'm sure you know. I hope I got that point across. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I broke up with you because I cared too much about you to keep pretending. And especially when you said, you know, I wanted to tell you that I loved you too. So badly, but I knew I wouldn't mean it. 
Maybe we'll meet again someday. Maybe it'll be under different circumstances. Or maybe not. Either way, I wanted you to know the truth. You deserve it. You can hate me all you want, but I needed to come clean and tell you. If you're still watching, uh, thank you for hearing me out. I hope this made sense, and I'm sorry again for how it ended. And I'm sorry if I'm opening up old wounds. I, I didn't want to do that. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you find someone again. I know I'm not the best thing to happen to you, but... I have to hope that we both have so many great things on the way. Especially for you, Roxanne. I fucked it up with you, but I'll never forget how you made me feel. And I'll try to figure out who I am. I'm still working on that. I'm not expecting you to suddenly forgive me. I'm not expecting uh, us to get back together or anything. That'd be asking too much, especially after all this time. I just wanted to explain why. To give you closure. To give us both closure. So we can move on for good. Roxanne Roberts, it's truly been a pleasure knowing you and being in your life. I'm so lucky to have come across you and to have been loved by you. Thank you. Uh, and. I'm sorry for hurting you. Okay, well, um, that's all I wanted to say. Um, goodbye, Roxanne. If you're ever in Alberta... What the fuck, Chris? My room was like a cesspool. It took me forever to find this thing. Oh, thank you for my laptop. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. Okay.